In this video, we've already created a marketing list and now we're going to utilize this marketing list to create a mail merge form letter to communicate an update out to each one of these uh, contacts. So in order to do that, I've pulled up my list. If you can't remember where I got it, I'm in the marketing area of CRM and selected marketing lists and I'm going to pull up the specific list I'm interested in. Bring it over onto this screen. I can look at my, the members of my list. And now in order to go through the mail merge process, I'm going to cl click the add uh, tab up here on my list and select mail merge on list members. Now when I do that, I'm going to start to go through a series of prompts. Uh, the first thing I'm going to pick what type of mail merge. So I've got a couple of options here and I'm going to select a letter. Um, I can start with a blank document or I can use a template that I've already created through CRM. And then I need to select the data fields that I want to pull over uh, into this form letter or mail merge. So I'll click data fields and in this case I know the default are fine but I can scroll down and there's lots of different options here and there's a number of them that are already set as a default. Most of the things that you're going to be interested in for a letter are here such as name, address, city, state, zip, uh, those sorts of things. So I'm going to say OK because um, I'm fine with the default fields and now I'm going to click download. CRM is going now to uh, download something called a uh, uh, XML file into a Word document to begin creating mail merge. So you're going to get this um, message that says do you want to open or save a file so I'm going to open this up and CRM is going to open up a copy of Word and depending on the version that you have you may um, you may go through these exact steps or something else similar so first of all I'm going to enable this document for editing I have an initial instruction sheet that says that I, if I want to start this mail merge I have to start CRM and you'll find CRM either in the mailings tab or if you're using the version that I am which I believe is Outlook 2010 it's in this add-ins tab so I have to click CRM and that's going to run a macro and pull up this dialog box. So Now I have everybody from my marketing list uh, loaded down here. Now I say that I have everybody but one person and I want to talk about that. In order to create a mail merge the permissions have to be set at the contact level such that your contacts can get a letter or an email or whatever it is that you are trying to uh, send out. Let's go look at why one of my folks, uh, in this case uh, Ballard, is not showing up on my list. So back in my mail merge, uh, I'm going to pull up this record and I'm going to come down here and look at the marketing permissions on this record and you'll see that send marketing materials is set to do not send. So now when I have tried to create this mail merge from my marketing list, uh, this particular contact has been excluded based on on this. Now suppose that I want to be able to send this contact letters but I don't want any email communication going out to this contact. I can enable send marketing materials and restrict the email so that email marketing is not allowed. Once I've done that I'm going to hit save and close and now I'm going to go back through the exact same process I'm going to say OK with my data fields, open my document, enable editing, click my CRM macro, and now you'll see my contact is included. And I can scroll through and look at all of the fields that pulled down from CRM uh, into the mail merge library. Now I'm going to select OK. I've got lots of other options here but for this purpose I'm going to select OK. And now I'm going to begin typing my mail merge. The first thing I want to do is insert the address field. So I'm going to use this field, uh, insert merge field and I'll come down here and say full name address 1 address 2 if I could type which I can't type and talk at the same time. And now um, I have composed my letter with certain fields. Um, 
Now the, the power in CRM is you can pull down just about any field you want. So if you want to put specific product or premium information, you can include all of that in a mail merge. So the next thing I'm going to do is come down here on the bottom right and select preview my letter. And I can scroll through each one of my recipients in this letter. And then I can complete the merge.